Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. I hope we're all enjoying our Monday and obviously having our week set off into a good pace and, well, just enjoying ourselves really. We'll talk a little bit, I'd say, about a new, I say new target, a revitalised target. Um, we're talking a little bit about a player coming back to the club and we're also talking about some pretty fresh and updates in terms of a centre-back position, potentially a deal agreed, if not for sure, contract agreed. But we'll jump into that in just a second. Let's start with the man on the thumbnail, Wilfred Singo. Now, if you don't know about Wilfred Singo, Wilfred Singo has been a player that we've been linked to, I think probably for the last few windows, if I'm honest. He's, he's definitely a Paratici guy. He's the right back at Torino, if you're not aware of where he is. Hence why you see why he's a Paratici guy. So this came from Tuto Sport, and it said that Tottenham are in the mix of sign Wilfred Singo from Torino. The valuation is set at 15 million euros, which is about 12 million pounds. So we all know that Paratici still has a part to play in this club. He, he's allowed to be a consultant to the club, use his vast network of agents and, and links. He's just not allowed to get involved in the deals, right? This screams Paratici all over, kind of saying that you've got to get him. He's, he's class, he's cheap, he's this, he's that, the other. And we're going to go into his stats in just a second, but it does kind of scream about a player that has been linked to us for a few few windows. It's definitely a Paratici kind of guy. So just to give you an idea about Singo, he played in 31 games in the Serie A last season. And he played four times in the uh, Italy Cup or the Coppa Italia. Uh, he had two goals and two assists in his time in the league. Um, so playing over 2,000 minutes as well. Played a lot of football last year. In reality, we're talking about a player that plays sort of right back slash right mid. Um, good player. Good player. I'm not sitting there saying that he's a world beater, but he's a good player. The issue I have is if a guy who's played a lot of right mids, he does remind me a little bit like Porro. And maybe this is the way we're going to go with two fullbacks who can really attack and, you know, kind of like right wing backs to right mids in a way. Uh, for me, I would say about the whole, I want to see Pedro Porro play right wing. For me, I'm not that interested in that. I, I'd like to see him play right back, his natural position. That and right wing back being the two positions that are natural to him. I like the overlapping ability that he could possess. I like the ability of him being able to link up play as well. You, you see fullbacks nowadays are more inverted who they come and play central midfield, you know. I think when you look at Liverpool, for example, who play with two really attacking fullbacks, you see Trent drops into the midfield and you see Robertson just keep bombing out on the outside, on the outside of Nunez or Gakpo or Mane for a while. Destiny Adogi is definitely a guy who's going to bomb forward, who creates a lot of opportunities, gets a lot of assists from the left-back position. And Poro is kind of the same, but I think Poro can link up the play a bit better than Destiny. So I think you'd see Kulisewski getting a lot more space to work in because Poro would be able to link up into the midfield a bit more. And then on the left-hand side, where Son's going to cut in, is Destiny Adogi to run on the outside. So for me, I, again, it's fairly cheap. It wasn't to work, it's not the end of the world. But does that mean Emerson's going? Does that mean Jed Spence is going? Is he a big enough upgrade on those two? I can't sit there and say that he is. Not Prem proven as well, which doesn't help. I'd like to see Jed Spence get a little bit more game time this year. You know, um, I think Emerson in a back four would be fine, link up play-wise. I think he has gotten better as time goes on. I think you can see Emerson has improved a little bit. It's enough to the point where he's going to be my starting right back. For me, no, I think Pedro Porro is the main guy. going to be simple as that. So that was just a little bit on the Wilfred Singo situation. Let's talk about the player that might be coming back to Spurs. And this is a bit of a, an irking point for me because I talked about from Alistair Gold that we're looking to get two centre-backs this season, this coming window, right? So we look at the Mickey van der Ven, Ed, Edmund taps over and Tosin uh, full, uh, centre-half from Fulham. And we always had this Clermont Longley thing in the, in the middle of all that. And I've always said, look, as long as it's two fresh new centre-backs and Clermont Longley, fine. But let's not make it Clermont Longley and a new guy and call that a good bit of business because it's not. And it does look like it's going to be more so the latter than it is the, the first one on the two. So this came out from, it started from the Barca president and then it spiralled a little bit from there. So the Barca president said like, he, agree, he expects to reach an agreement with Spurs for Clermont Longley. Uh, from Bruce Romano says the list of incomings may increase with Longley being valued around five million pounds, and then Gerard Romano said that Barcelona want ten million euros plus five million in add-ons. Um, good luck. 
not we're not paying that okay um the five million euros or five million pounds yes i don't see the issue with that as long as we were getting two other center halves as well if he is going to be one of the two guys coming in, I think that's unacceptable. I don't think that's good business. And let's not let Daniel Levy cook, because clearly that's not worked in the past. That's not good enough business, in my opinion. Now, if he was one of three, I can understand it and say, actually, that's not bad. We've got good solid depth there, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not having this idea that Clement Longley should be one of the two. I'm not having it, personally. I'm not saying he was terrible last season. I really actually think, as of all the cent halves we had... Him and Romero are the two ones that actually cover themselves with any kind of glory at any point in the season. Sanchez obviously had that you know, bit of a howl over season. Dyer really regressed. Tanganga's, you know, didn't even play. You know, I'm not really a Tanganga fan personally. Don't shoot me on that. But I don't think that's good enough, to be honest. I don't. And it irks me because I, it's a typical thing every year. Vicario was a good money-saving keeper who's, who's going to really benefit us. Manuel Solomon's going to be a free transfer we spent forty million on Madison, and we're still going to cut costs on the centre half position. It's not good enough. It's just not good enough. Simple as that. Now, there's a little bit of news came out about the centre half position from Mike Verway, who's very much in the know with Dutch sources. And Mike Verway says that Spurs have agreed a contract with Van der Ven until 2028. And um, what I loved is for Ritsu Romano came out and said that was a good call five days ago. It was such a, it was an absolute uppercut. And, and I did report five days ago that we had agreed a contract and the contract was an issue. And he did say that. But he also said, on top of this being agreed five days ago, Spurs are still in talks with Tapsoba. I think Tapsoba is the number one choice, but it's going to get to a point, a bit like Davaraya. If it gets too expensive, you go to your backup option, which is Vicario, which I think it's Tapsoba, to Van der Ven. Um, but it also just came up from John Cross and David Mirror to say that uh, he has stated the Spurs are set to sign Van der Ven for £30 million. Again, something that I reported, his valuation would be around that mark. Um, contract's not an issue with Tapsoba or Van der Ven. It would just be valuation and pricing. And again, it irks me a little bit because if Ficaro's costing you 17 million, Manus is costing you 40, let's say it's 60 million. Solomon's a free. Longley's going to cost you 5 million. That's 65 million for five players. Five players? Four players. No, four players. Sorry. Ignore me, I was just in the mass of my head. Four players. We should be able to go and get taps over as well, who's going to cost 40 odd million, make that £110 million spend for five players. It's not a lot of money for a top team. We make enough money with the ninth richest club in the world. We shouldn't have this issue, okay? Um, we're going to have people going out. Winks has already gone out for 10 million. You know, Davison Sanchez has already looked like he, he could be going off to Galatasaray for 9 million. We're looking at players who are going to be leaving, you know. Um, Tanganga has uh, obviously Luton's uh, a team that won him Atalanta a team that won him you look at players that are going to be going out you know Celta Vigo won um, Sergio Regulon you know you look at all these players there will be players that we're going to ship off this summer we shouldn't be scrimping and saving on a play on a position of such importance this summer of centre back but I'm not going to jump into it today. I'm not going to hurt myself I've enjoyed my Monday I don't want Spurs to ruin it as much as they often try to but anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Drop a like if you did enjoy the video. Hit me in the comment section. Obviously, I pin a lot of stuff in there, but hit me in the comment section. Are you happy about the fact that Clement Longley is going to be one of the two centre-halves we're looking at can sign this summer? Do you think Wilfred Singo might be a guy that we should be looking at? Obviously, subscribe if you're new. We've hit over 600 subscribers, which has been a mad, it's been a mad few weeks. Honestly, it really has. So thank you all for subscribing. Obviously, subscribe if you are new and you enjoy the content. And obviously, hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, lads.